Hi, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Kanner, and what I want to do today is very quickly show how ultrasonic techniques have really changed the way we treat cervical stenosis and give patients much better outcomes. First, what I want to do is show the difference between traditional cutting tools and ultrasonic tools and how safe they are around soft tissues. This is a traditional cutting tool that we use to remove bone spurs that are pinching nerves, and it's it's sharp, it spins fast, and it's dangerous around soft structures like a balloon. This is an ultrasonic tool. It uses vibration. It's safe around something like my finger. Uh, it cuts through bone and cuts through plastic much faster than a drill, but if you use it next to something soft and something delicate, it's actually safe. If you know how to use this tool, it's actually hard to pop this balloon. So what this allows us to do is essentially work inside the spine and remove bone spurs without removing any of the important stuff, any of the structures that hold us up. So this is an example of me practicing using this tool where I'm removing bone that's pinching the nerves, and in this case a balloon, and I'm able to do it right next to the balloon without popping it. Now if I use a traditional tool, I can't do that. It'll pop the balloon and cause havoc. So we can't work in spaces that small. So why is that important? When we have cervical stenosis, we have bone spurs. Bone enlarges, pinches the spinal cord, and can potentially cause devastating effects. Weakness, numbness, difficulty in walking, as problems as severe as quadriplegia. So in the process of the spinal cord being pinched, it causes nerve damage. We have to unpinch it. If you look at this picture, what you can see is there's a channel here and the spinal cord is wide open and a channel here and between that there's areas where bone is grown into the canal and is pinching the cord. That's called cervical stenosis. The process of treating cervical stenosis requires that we remove what's pinching the spinal cord. That process is called laminectomy in the old way of doing it and fusions in the newer way of doing it. Laminectomy removes these structures. Unfortunately, these structures is also what holds our head up. When we take those structures out, we have to rebuild them with something. So with the old traditional cutting tools, we can't work in small spaces. We take things out and we have to rebuild those things that we remove with screws and rods and plates and large operations. The difference between the old operations using traditional tools and the newer operations is with the newer operations, we work through smaller access because we can work in small spaces. We remove what's pinching the nerves without removing any of the structure. So the process of taking the pressure off the cord doesn't involve removing what holds the head up. We don't need to use screws. We don't need to use rods. We don't need to do, we don't need to do fusions. And this is a ultrasonic operation compared to what you saw before, which is a traditional fusion procedure. It's better for patients, less blood loss, less pain, shorter hospital stays, 90% less narcotic, almost no history of transfusions, no need to bank blood with these operations. Patients are typically discharged from the hospital in one day. This heals in six weeks versus three months, and patient satisfactory at five years is almost nine out of 10, versus three year satisfaction with a traditional posterior surgery is less than 30% much better option. Ultrasonic surgery really allows us to do these better techniques. And if you have cervical stenosis, you should really look at this.